Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M41 HMC. It's the Tier 5 American SPG located on the north spot of Erdenburg. It's under the command of General Disturbance. Yes, it's one of my replays played earlier today. I've got two marks on the barrel of this M41 HMC. Never bothered to third mark it, but well, that's what I'm doing at the moment. It's a 155mm howitzer, capable of 500 alpha and penetrating 38mm of armour. And you can see that it does do some stun, only um, a short duration, 6 to 10 seconds, and it's got a burst radius of 6.7 metres. Well, I'm not taking it off to the east side of the map, I'm actually going to this position on the west side, because you can get some great shots on some of the enemy from just here. As you can see I'm going into this position and look at that. You can see the enemy tanks over on the east side of the map in the city town, uh, right in the town. And I'm fully loaded now, ready to go. Standard reload, 23.97 seconds. I've got 23.43. Go for the Tiger 131. I get a direct hit for 199 in the first shot. And I think that spooks the KB2 because he quickly dives into the next area up a front. Okay, I can see that Cromwell 7. He looks like a good recipient for a 155mm round. Almost ready to go. It's moving backwards and forwards. Rounds out. Yep, direct hit. 202 hit points on him and some stun. Now, the um, M41 Gorilla, as it actually became known, was built on the hull of an M24 Chappie. And it was um, a kind of stopback design. Uh, it was built in June of 1945, and they used them during the uh, war in Korea. Okay, the Cromwell's headed back into that little pocket again. You can see where I hit him, right on the turret. That shell. That was a bad shot RNG-wise. The shell landed short, but it did stun the Cromwell for a brief moment. Now, I've noticed down to the south we've got a Super Hellcat, and he appears to be trolling our team. He's popping up, getting shots, and then popping back down again. And he's holding up our teammates from moving further south on the west side of the map. Now, I last saw him in that position, so I'm going to put a round in, just in case he's still there. Okay, he wasn't still there because he's actually moved to the far end and he's poking his head round the corner, taking shots at our teammates. In fact, I think he was going after the A43 or the Leo. Yeah, that 90mm gun is actually quite dangerous. And, oh, he just took out our KV-1. Rounds out. Well, I thought he was about to move forward. In fact, he moved backwards as the moment he got warning that the shell was on the way in. So we know he's got um, knowledge that my shells are about to turn up because he quickly dived backwards as fast as he could to avoid that shell. Okay, I'm going to try and put a shell on him though all the same. If he's rocking backwards and forwards, I'll push a shell there. That must have stunned him. Probably did some damage. I always hit the reload key or the notifications key to let everybody know that I am in reload. So I'm now changing target again, going back to the KV-3. Try and hit as many enemy tanks as you can during a battle to get a Confederate if you can. It does pay off in the long run. We're one tank down on the enemy at the moment. Almost fully dialed in. Rounds up. Yep, that was a direct hit on the KV-3. And you can see I'm actually lobbing the shells directly over that tower. Uh, but I go back and I'm afraid, yes, we've lost another player we lost the a43 he went down to the Bosotto, but i'm pretty sure that this super hellcat had something to do with it and now we see an oi coming across the snow towards us rounds out yep nice direct hit for 171 and i damaged his tracks as well but he's still coming keeps on moving i think if my teammates can track him i might be able to get some more shots into him okay got tracked Okay, I'm almost loaded. I'm going to try another one. Rounds out. Yep, that smacked into the side. Gave the uh, the tracking uh, tank, which was the M10 RBFM, some more chances to put some damage on the guy. 
don't mind picking up the damage assist as well. I'm going to keep my aim on that spot. Oh, he's just been tracked again. Okay, one more chance. Oh, he's gone. And it was the M10 who got the kill, but we still don't know where that Super Hellcat is. But the good news is the M10, who's a little further back on the island, should be able to keep that Super Hellcat at bay for a while. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm having a look over the river, and oh, we see this KV-3, and it looks like he's going to try and come across, so I fire snap, and I did hit the KV-3 and stunned the Basotto at the same time, so I'm picking up some stun assist. But he is coming across the river, and that does not bode well for our teammate in the river area. And yes, the SMV CC56 dies. And now I think that Basotto is going to try and cross the river as well. But I'm going to see if I can put a round into him in the meanwhile. And that one direct hit as well. So the Basotto's just been hit. Okay, we've got a T29 on this side. But he's behind that house, and he is fairly badly damaged. So down to 50% of his hit points. Another Tiger 131's coming through, and I'm pretty sure that the other tank... Yes, it's a P43 Tur. And I've got to try and stop him from coming forward. Rounds out. Now, the reason I had to fire was because if the Tiger 131 and the P43 Tur came through at both at the same time, they would double tap that T29. He'd be out of the game very quickly. As it is, he did have another chance to get some more damage on the Tiger 131. But sadly, he does go out of the game. The 131 gets him in the end. Now, can I put a round into the 131? Rounds out. It falls short. I mean, that would have been a kill shot because he was very badly damaged. Only 35 hit points left, but he does go down to our Leo, which gives him a kill, and I get the assist. Okay, so we've still got that P43 to this side of the river. I've marked him to let my teammates know. I'm going to hold the aim on the gap hopefully he'll go back through the gap and i might be able to put a round in there rounds out well he did appear to be pulling back through the gap but i had to fire quick and i've suddenly noticed that kv3 has actually made his way all the way near to our cap area and we've got a vk301p there and he's trying to hold the guy back and luckily the kv3 goes down taken out by our excalibur He's a little further over onto the east side of the map, but we do lose the VK30OP to their Super Hellcat. So their Super Hellcat must have moved up quite a bit in order to get shots on that guy. I'm wondering where he is. Maybe he's in the castle grounds and the Leo just can't see him. Okay, we've got a T1 Heavy now trying to cross towards the castle. Now the M10 should have spotted the Super Hellcat. So I suspect that what happens is the Super Hellcat went around and is now in the castle grounds. That's why he saw the VK at the distance. And he's in there, and he is taking fire. And I think it's from the Leo. Yep, the Leo got him. Okay, now, we've got that P43 tour again. He's still there. I've marked him as target. If it's already marked, you just hit it again to let your teammate know. He pulled back, and... I knew that the aim might go because he's right at the edge of my field of fire. I knew that the rescue might bloom, so I fired prematurely. And what I got was a bit of stun, but nothing else. And he's about to pop. Only five hit points left. If my teammate doesn't get him, I'll get him with a splash. And yes, the Leo gets another kill. So that's uh, quite a few kills that the Leo's managed to get in this game. Now three. Okay, so we're still one tank down on the enemy. We were quite a few down at one point. I think we were about two down or maybe three down, but we're now back to just one down. I've got that T1 heavy. Now, he's sitting on that corner, blocking our Leo from going back into the castle grounds. And the Leo's decided to go up the side and come around the other side and see if he can catch him out that way. The enemy Basotto's decided to come in. Oh, well, I fired the round anticipating he was going to keep moving and then I might be able to stun him, but the M10 finished him off straight away. And now I'm looking to hit this T1 heavy. I haven't got a whole lot of damage, but I do have a lot of enemy tanks hit and not killed. So I'm pretty, pretty sure of getting a Confederate. Rounds out. Well, T1 heavy took that one. 
Right at the base, 142. It might have been just to the side of the face, but the front, but we'll have to see when we spot him again. I've marked the ground where I think he is. And the Leo's going around, so hopefully he'll spot that T1 Heavy very shortly. He's managed to make his way around the castle. We should see the T1 any second. He's making a run for it. Rounds out. Yep. Got a kill at last. Took out the T1 Heavy. The Leo would have taken that kill, I must admit. No. That would have been the Leo's fourth kill, but at least I've got one kill, so I've contributed to the game. Okay, over on the other side of the map, we can see that there is... Oh, that's an 87. He's a long way away, but the M41 can fire over the range of the map, and therefore I fire in Snap, trying to get some stun on him and trying to get some damage, but sadly it misses altogether. And then I noticed this happening and the SU-122 just derped our Excalibur right in the side. He's obviously playing it like a TD. He doesn't, he does have the 152mm gun, so that's why he was so effective. So I fire in that direction, the shell lands where he was last seen, but it doesn't appear that I hit him, so he must have pulled ahead. They're going after the E-25, the E-25 is focusing on the SU-122, he kills him. The 87 tries to come in behind him. He can't get a shot. And the E25 is now going to troll that guy. And yes, he's going to get behind him. I fire around him to try and slow the 87 down. And the M25 is now taking his uh, time. He's tracked the guy. He's going to hold him there. Now, one of the enemies is capping. There's only two enemies left, the 87, and the other one must be the KV-2. So I'm just trying to change my position here. You can be seen from the cap if you're not careful. So I'm knocking that tree down and changing my position so I can get a better angle on the KV-2. I'm assuming that he's actually near the buildings. But I can't see him because he's hiding at the moment. Oh, he has been spotted and I'm looking in the wrong place. And he's taken out by our Leo for his fifth kill. Well, that kill uh, by the Leo for getting his fifth kill on the KV-2 actually made me feel very guilty because by taking that kill on the T1 Heavy, I deprived the Leo of actually getting a top gun. But I didn't realize that at the time, and he didn't have six kills at the time. So really, I couldn't have known that he was actually going to go on and get that many uh, kills in the game. I did get an ace tanker out of that game in the M41. I also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, I got 10 in total. And I did get a confederate fitting more of the enemy than anyone else on my team. My win eight was 2,735, which is Unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score. I can see the highest damage in the game. Yes, was done by the E25. 2,361, but it wasn't enough for a high caliber because it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool. Second highest damage went to the Super Hellcat on the enemy team. So yes, he was a good player. 2,110 hit points of damage went to him. And the third highest damage in the game went to the Leo. Yes, the Ukrainian from Kiev. Uh, he managed 1,884. Uh, and yes, I only managed 1,535. So I'm a little way down the table. And in fact, actually, there's three players on the enemy team above me, three players on my own team. So I'm in seventh place on damage. When it came to kills, it was the Leo who did the best. Five kills, he would have had that top gun, but for the fact that obviously I killed that T1 Heavy, but I couldn't have known. Three kills went to the E25 and our team, and two kills went to the M10 RBFM, the T67, the Super Hellcat on the enemy team, their KV2, and their Tiger 131. I only got the one kill out of that game. When it came to base XP, I'm actually in fifth place overall, because the Leo managed 1,104, the only player to get over 1,000 in the game. 993 went to the E25, 919 went to the M10 RBFM, and I managed to get 756 out of that. So yes, fifth place on damage. But I was the only player in the game to actually get a medal, the Confederate. 21 shots fired, nine direct hits on the enemy, no penetrations, but I did get 19 splashes. 
damage of 1,535 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. I damaged 10 of the enemy, killed one, so there's a nine difference there, so I easily got the Confederate. 724 hit points of stun assist of 18 stuns. I earned 39,348 credits on a premium count, 15,000 for completing a mission, 54,348 credits altogether, and after ammunition resupply, I took away 43,743 credits profit. 1,134 XP for the battle, times two for the first victory, 2,268 for completing a mission, and 4,536 experience points altogether. I say so close to the third mark. In actual fact, I'm just in the 80s, but going upwards rapidly. And it won't be long before I do have um, a third mark on the barrel of that one. I already have three uh, three marks on the barrel of my um, uh, SU-122A. And I believe I also have a third mark on my Gorilla. So I need to get a third mark on the M41 and also the other RTs, the, um, uh, the Bishop, and of course the uh, AMX 13105. So I will get those in order, and once I've third marked all of those, I'll move up and try and third mark all the other RTs that uh, I haven't marked as yet. But I hope you enjoyed that replay. Yes, it does appear that the replay site is working for some of the replays since they fixed the problem. Not all of them are. And we are recommending to all players who normally send in replays to our channel to make sure that uh, they can upload the replay first to Salty Jedi. If they can do it and it doesn't come back to say that it's a corrupted file, then uh, keep copies of the screen prints from the battle. And I can still do a replay based on the screen prints of the front page like that, the team score page like that, and the detail page. So if you can send those three to me, I'll put them together and that way you'll still get, still get a video of your best games even if we can't actually upload them and get the results on either what replays or Salty Jedi. But it appears that Salty Jedi is taking them so because obviously I, I managed to load this one up just today so uh, it is working as far as I can tell. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give the video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.